And in Daniel's case, as you've seen, he come across a problem. And the big important thing is, is deal with that problem as you see it. Don't go, oh, there's a problem, I'll deal with that later. You want to start to give them the idea of what the issue is, not let them think about the problem that they have just shown you. And, and I'm probably a bit cheeky in, in um, thinking this girl is going to be all right. But she just seemed a little bit, showing me that she was quite relaxed, um, happy with what we've done. I'm not going to go to the extent that Daniel was going to in putting it through my leg and getting a used to all that. I just want to basically just give him a quick pick up. And they are you know, just there, like there. Good girl. You're right, princess. When they get a little bit sticky, don't rush them. Just let them give it to you. And then what will happen is they'll get more and more comfortable with, with you picking it up because you, they know you're not going to rush them. You're going to give them the time to rebalance if they have to, all that sort of thing. That's a good one, this. So is there any questions in the crowd? Like, thank you. Is there any questions in the crowd that, that anyone wants to ask at all? You've been comprehensive, mate. I think all our trainers, I think, you know, after a round of applause, I think they've all put a really good, um, you know, expression of their programs together and, and explaining what they're doing. I think that's all been excellent. So well done, guys. And I'd just like to say, like I was, I said in the very beginning, I was a bit sort of nervous about this. I hadn't done anything like this before. Um, uh, and I was, I was really excited about meeting the other trainers and seeing what other fellows do because I sort of, as trainers, you sort of tend to, well, no, I do, not by choice, stick, stick to yourself. Um, just because you sort of work your horses and then when you finish working your horses, you sort of go and do whatever else you've got to do. I know um, Donald does a bit of other stuff, um, which, which would be absolutely fantastic. Let me see if you step across there. Step across. Now we're going that way. And I've really enjoyed it, just listening to the other trainers, watching the other trainers, see how they work. And like Daniel was saying before, there's going to be a lot of stuff that all of us have picked up on that we're going to try ourselves. And, and whether it works for us or whether it doesn't, um, whether it improves us, um, most likely yes. So like that there, I'm not going to worry about that. If I get in on her fright, she's going to go, she's going to escalate even more. Whereas all I want to do is try and keep that low, cool energy so that she's just basically joining in on me. Go up, princess. Stay up here. I know I put this on her yesterday, but I didn't want her to move. So now I'm just wanting her to move. And what I'm going to do is let her wear it. And if she does take fright, I'm going to head straight to that hip. So I can get her to just engage that hind quarter and think about that hind quarter and, and be able to pull her up. Like I did when she, she sort of um, got a little bit wriggly when I first put the saddle on. And then we just slowly keep it coming with me, keep it coming with me, and drop it off. And then back the other way. Look at this. Look at that. Good job. Keep it coming, Mm -hmm. 
Good girl, there you go. Good of miss. Leave that there. I'm going to have a look at this tarp. I haven't ridden her over a tarp. So wherever they want to look, let them check it out. Let them have their head. Dragons is a pretty rotten drink. <laughs> Good girl, there you go. I don't pull it up. <laughs> Girl, there you go. Better <laughs> pull it up anyway. And the next thing, one thing she hasn't seen. I don't want to do a hell of a lot with her. <laughs> These horses have done an amazing job this weekend, so with this heat, so I just want to have a little play around with the stock whip and drag my gear bag. 